There's some promise for pet pigs here in Madison. This is a live look at tonight's Common Council meeting where in the last 15 minutes, an amendment was approved to allow people to keep pigs as pets within the Madison city limits. Now, earlier this summer, the city was notified about two cases of people owning pigs, leading to those owners being notified that their pigs had to go. Well, that was until one city alder introduced an amendment to allow miniature pigs, which is our Armand Rahman found out lots of people have opinions on this. Yeah, Eric and Charlotte, I spoke to roughly a dozen people on and off camera today nearby one of the pigs who's been in the headlines, and there was pretty overwhelming support to letting them stay with the ordinance passing some pig experts say there are things to remember before you bring a little piggy home <coughs> meet the swine that started it all rudy he lives along the southwest commuter bike path i think he belongs here he does. in july we told you about another pig on the far east side named baconette both were served a notice that they had to pack their bags and fly I was on the free Rudy train. He's so great around here, like everybody in the community loves him. I think he brings more people to the path. Rudy's owner didn't want to go on camera, but said she couldn't sniff out who squealed. She's had him for over a year and has only heard praise for the pig. Oh Literally. my gosh, we would have written a letter. I always said if people have chickens in this neighborhood, right. we can have a pig. That led Alder Tag Evers, who lives near Rudy, to propose a change to the rule. By that amendment, both Rudy and Baconette make weight. <laughs> At the council meeting Tuesday, there was only one person in public comment, and he spoke against changing the rule. You know, we started with the chickens. Now we're doing pigs. I mean, what's going to be next? Goats? What happens is you get a lot of individuals that will not respect the laws and that will go overboard, and there will be a smell. All the pig owners say if properly taken care of, they don't smell. Rudy himself is litter box trained. Anna Burr, who's worked with miniature pigs at a local sanctuary farm for six years, agreed and says they make great pets. I've been working with dogs for the past 15 years, and I can say that the bonds that I've formed with pigs in the past six years have been extremely way more significant and deeper and they're so multifaceted but she says if the ordinance passes don't go hog wild pigs should be supervised around dogs or kept separate and there's a price to high intelligence you need to stimulate their brains you need to get them active you need to do some training because otherwise they're using all of that energy and maybe destroying your house but people walking running or biking by rudy say they would be in hog heaven if he stayed Please vote to keep him here. Yeah. It's a neighborhood thing. And the amendment did pass 11 to 8 with the change that one pig is allowed per residence. So neither Rudy nor Baconette can have any brothers or sisters.